Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This concludes our cultural program, rich cultural program, with many diverse sessions. The purpose was to show how arts permeates not only culture, but also science and technology, even economics and politics. Artists are an inspiration for new thinking and innovation. And also, with this last session, we would like to be a little innovative. It's very difficult to introduce Sarah Jones. She is a multi-talent, playwright, actress, poet. She has received many awards and is a UNICEF ambassador and its official spokesperson on violence against children. I am sure you will enjoy her performance. Please welcome Sarah Jones. Thank you so very much for that introduction and good morning everyone. It's, it's extraordinary actually to see you here on this Saturday morning. I think you must be quite committed uh, to um, this theme of the new global village. And um, I first want to say how grateful I am to be here, to be participating in this meeting. Um, honestly, it's my first time in Davos and it's so breathtakingly beautiful. And I mean, it literally also takes your breath away. It's nearly the end of the meeting and I'm still adjusting to the altitude, but I think it's also the heights to which this uh, meeting has brought me personally. And uh, I do multi-character performances in the theater, as some of you are aware. Uh, so I portray people of various different ethnicities. Um, and I did that in, for example, a one-person show that was called Bridge and Tunnel, which I did on Broadway in the United States. It was an extraordinary opportunity. Um, garnered me a Tony Award there in the United States. It, it, was, it really gave more to me than I ever could have imagined. But when I was asked to perform here, I thought, right, I, I had to think, these are sort of the preeminent business leaders of the world, right? Politicians, scientists, philanthropists, artists. And what could I possibly have to say that would be sort of worthy of my participation in something like that? And so I thought perhaps a very erudite sounding English accent, British accent might help things a bit. <laughs> And then I thought, no, no, I just have to get up there and be myself and talk the way I really talk. After all, uh, this week for me, are you all checking to see you're all awake? Can you tell the difference between the flat American and the uh, British? I'm impressed, I'm impressed. But uh, I will say that for me this week has been all about this, it, it, I, it's indescribable, the opportunity to hear uh, these leading and authentic voices from around the world. And so here I am talking the way I really talk. Uh, besides, I do speak the Queen's English. I am from Queens, New York. Uh, but the theme of this uh, performance is the new global village. And so I'd just like to introduce you to a few of my very own inventions or villagers. They're all so excited to be here. They've each prepared their own remarks. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so very much for having me here. Uh, I can't see you yet, but I can feel that you're wonderful people. Uh, there you are. Okay. Yes, you look wonderful as well. That's good. Uh, I'm here because of the young girl, Sarah Jones, who some of you have met. Uh, and uh, she's a very nice young black performer uh, from America. Yeah, well, you know, she calls herself black, yeah. Uh, uh, she's really more like a caramel color if you look at the skin. <laughs> but I don't quibble. Uh, anyway, uh, this is such an international uh, gathering, I feel I should say. Uh, my name is Lorraine Levine. Uh, me llamo Lorraine Levine, mucho gusto. <laughs> uh, uh, bonjour, je m'appelle uh, Lorraine Levine. Ich heise Lorraine Levine. I'll stop there. It only gets worse. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Anyway, I teach people that uh, of all my languages, my English is only the one starting to come along after 80-something years on this planet. But anyway, what I will say is, you know, even for someone my age, this has been a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I mean, my children can't get over the fact that I'm here, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. I'm a legend now in my family. And as I say, once in a lifetime, and it's a good thing too because I don't mind telling you, I nearly strangled myself the first day trying to get myself into the first session there. So I think for the next Davos, you might want to include a session on chiropractic around the world for the badges. But uh, I'm just grateful that you all are so committed here to ma making a better world. And uh, as... Uh, um, you know, it's, it's a concept that uh, is more profound than it might seem. I'm grateful that you're all here participating, and frankly, I'm just so impressed. Congratulations on being masters of the universe. <laughs> Your parents must be very proud. <laughs> Enjoy the rest. Mazel tov on all the success. May it continue. Mwah. Well, so as you heard, that was Lorraine, and like everyone else you're meeting today, she's based on various real people from my real life. So uh, they might be friends, neighbors, family members. I come from a multicultural global village of my very own. And in fact, Lorraine Levine is loosely based on a real relative. Uh, a few people, I like to say I create composite characters uh, so that we protect the innocent and especially the guilty. But uh, on my mother's side of the family, that multicultural picture looked like my grandmother, who was Irish-American uh, and a mix also with German-American. There were both Christians and Jews on that side of the family. It's a long story filled with intrigue and interfaith guilt, as we always say. And then there were Caribbean relatives on my uh, grandfather's side, uh, Latino roots on that side, the different islands, and my father's side, African-American, also with Caribbean roots. So on top of all of this, as confusing as that was for a small child, my parents sent me to the United Nations School for further complication. And there at age 11, I began meeting students and teachers from everywhere. Uh, I'll introduce you to a few and imagine what they would experience if they could be here. Well, I was a German teacher of Sarah Jones. Uh, we will only, uh, I won't take a lot of time here, uh, but uh, sie hat drei Jahre im Gymnasium gelernt. Uh, she uh, was learning Deutsch, uh, German in school for three years. And uh, she, uh, sie hat alles vergessen. She has forgotten everything. Uh, so now I wish I can tell her back in the past, one day you will be at Davos and you will wish that you had done your Hausaufgaben. It means homework. Okay. And then, of course, uh, we have a lot of uh, different... Uh, for example, uh, I had a teacher, a French teacher. I let her speak for herself, of course, okay, it's very important. Uh, well, you know, uh, Sarah Jones, she was uh, one of my students. Uh, well, I want to say first uh, that uh, I am proud that she's at the Davos. Uh, well, not that her French is perfect, huh? it's uh, comme ci, comme ça. Mais uh, I just really believe at this time where um, uh, we need more of this uh, dialogue, uh, plus d'espoir, plus... Uh, uh, okay. What I want to say is that uh, the more we can understand each other, uh, I believe especially, you know, uh, if we are remembering even on recent weeks, uh, that really uh, we need that understanding of each other. Uh, it's a matter of really uh, uh, security that we uh, can communicate together better, understand each other, and maybe that we can use uh, 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 humor, humor as the bridge uh, that we can walk better together. Okay, merci. Uh, 
Well, I want to uh, only um, add uh, something here, which is, uh, first of all, good morning, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. I think you will say, please excuse. Uh, uh, I don't know if you are speaking good Russian. Uh, well, I try. Uh, it's not good enough. So, okay. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, for the Russian context, uh, Sarah Jones is bringing me here here, uh, I, she's a friend of my daughter, <laughs> and uh, to watching these girls playing together, uh, one is so different from the other, and yet they are the same, uh, maybe not the same hair, very different hair, but otherwise the two girls, they can be like sisters, uh, so I love that we come together here, we look each other's culture, even you had here, uh, I am enjoying so much all of the different sessions which you are having. Uh, yes, all of the different sessions. Uh, my only complaint, you are having too many different sessions. Uh, it's not possible to go in everything, and, uh, but I don't complain. And I thank you for this uh, uh, Russian outlook. And we are in a new global context, so I suppose uh, this will be like a new Russian outlook. Uh, my husband teaches me now I am older Russian, uh, so uh, maybe I have to adjust. But still, it was very stimulating, even for this old Russian context here. Thank you. Spasiva, enjoy the rest of the meeting. Yes. So, um, also I met people who in, enlarged my, my vision of the world, uh, for example, uh, well, I just wanted to take a brief moment to say that uh, as a woman coming from the Middle East, uh, meeting uh, the young girls uh, like Sarah Jones, uh, explaining to her uh, what is it means for someone like me, for example, uh, working in behalf of uh, the rights of people uh, from the region, uh, that we uh, are still, uh, hopefully, uh, working all towards the same goals, uh, even whether I uh, am covered wearing hijab, uh, which I was when I met Sarah Jones, uh, but uh, it does not mean that we cannot uh, have uh, the common ground, as you would say, and I am teaching uh, as much as I can my students uh, to recognize the benefit of step outside, stepping outside their own context uh, to uh, make space for the empathy for the other person. And even if they do not care at all about the empathy, you know, they are teenagers, they may not care about as much the empathy as their iPhone, uh, but at least I can tell them, come, participate, uh, uh, at least I will give you extra credit. Uh, that seems to work a bit better as a motivation. Uh, so we do what we must to push uh, these uh, ideas forward uh, with time. I think it becomes more natural that we will empathize with each other and not be the enemies for each other. Shukran. Uh, so. I also met uh, people who showed me, well, I'll share her own perspective and let her speak for herself. Well, you know, when I first um, met Sarah Jones, I tried to explain to her, first of all, I want to apologize that I am speaking a little bit faster, uh, but the problem is that, uh, as I explained to people, uh, coming from the Latin American context, first of all, uh, that when I first met Sarah Jones, I was telling her, uh, you know, for not only am I coming from uh, the different backgrounds that I have in my family, uh, so many different people, not only from the uh, South America, but also from the Caribe, it's a very complicated story, uh, but uh, that, you know, I am trying to uh, explain to people that there is no such thing as, uh, como, uh, how would you uh, say, a, a monolith. Do you understand what I'm saying, monolith? I know that when I have with my accent, it can be difficult for, for people, but you are trying your best. I can see that, especially at, at this hour of the day. But anyway, I try to uh, just uh, participate as much as I can, even though that sometimes it will make me a little bit nervous. Uh, perhaps some of you here can relate to this, uh, that the more I am getting nervous, uh, it's uh, difficult. The, uh, I'm feeling nervous and I start to talk very fast and then no one can understand anything that I'm saying in any language, and that's very, very difficult. Uh, so with that, I will try to uh, just give maybe the translators a break. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but I did the best I can. This was my slow tempo, which Sarah Jones asked me to go as slow as possible. I did the best I can. Muchísimas gracias. This has been a very stimulating. And este, I hope that I will be able to join you um, uh, the next time. And that perhaps uh, I will remember to bring a, a little bit warmer clothes. Uh, this was quite the experience. Gracias.
okay? Uh, well, uh, one person who taught me a great deal is uh, a woman who was the mother of, again, friends. And I think this really goes to um, just illustrate how important it is to have diversity within our lives, not just as a, a concept, but as a real kind of component of who we are culturally. Around September 11th, I met a Chinese American woman and several other women actually, but this woman in particular. Uh, first of all, I, I want to uh, thank uh, all the people gathered here today uh, and during this meeting in Davos, I have been uh, uh, very happy to be here. But first I want to say, as a non-native uh, English speaker, uh, this woman who was just speaking before, uh, it was so fast, so very fast. I started to feel heart palpitations and a uh, little bit shortness of breath, too difficult. Uh, but I think just to make that effort uh, to understand one another, even if it's uh, not easy, not my mother tongue, uh, I try to explain to people uh, that you can uh, have more uh, uh, productive uh, meeting. I am in business with my husband. We have a company, textile company. Uh, but we do trade, of course, uh, with the uh, United States, many uh, firms there. I go to New York and I tell people, listen more carefully uh, before you uh, just listen to accent really try to pause, uh, learn something about that culture, not only how you want to do the business, but also who are the people. Uh, it may sound simple, but can make huge difference to have the right attitude. Uh, and I will tell you, after the September 11, I remember one vendor, small vendor I was working with. Uh, they said, I heard, I heard them. Uh, they did not know I can hear this. Uh, I don't know how to do business with these people, they said. And uh, we have too many immigrants here in America. And I think if Statue of Liberty can talk today, she will say, too much, no more. We have no more room. If you want to come, you should come earlier. <laughs> so. This woman does not know uh, this have an impact, maybe wrong kind of humor for me. Uh, but I encourage people, uh, learn more so that whatever you bring to that uh, conversation, uh, discussion, uh, is more open, uh, more inclu inclusing, uh, inclusive of people, all people, no matter how good is their English or not. Uh, thank you. Uh, I appreciate uh, this opportunity. Xie Xie. So now you've met uh, several of my global villagers. And I will also say that as I became a, a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF, which was one of the high points of my career, I continued to meet people around the world who, again, expanded my understanding of what empathy and humor can bring to crucial conversations about our geopolitical moment, this new global context. Uh, I'll give you one example. I'll, I will just start by saying that uh, I find that this meeting, you know, it's so gratifying to be here. Uh, first of all, as a human rights lawyer, I am heartened by the way that the conversation continues to uh, become further and further deepening into these notions of how do we really commit to a better world, right? So that is great stuff. Uh, and uh, I met Sarah Jones when she is touring India, doing that uh, part of her UNICEF work. She's a nice woman, a bit tall, 
but other than that, we really see eye to eye, if you know what I'm meaning. Uh, but uh, we share the same goal of uh, just uh, committing to helping the populations to help themselves, the most vulnerable. Obviously, we are focusing uh, much of the time on the women and girls. And, uh, well, I want to say I'm grateful that is something here everyone is also committed to, especially the women. Hello there, you three, four, five. No, no, I'm teasing. It is getting better and better. Okay, we want to encourage that, right? We are pleased with that. Uh, but I release you all to the rest of the meeting. I have learned so much. I look forward to continuing that. And uh, there is just so much to take in, as we have heard. But I have to say also, uh, of course, I am normally here to be quite serious. But I believe the one of the most memorable parts of the Davos is the cracking good parties they are throwing. Uh, so I'm pleased that we all made it here this morning. Uh, but enjoy all of it. We deserve that. OK, great. Thank you. And then there are the people I meet who definitely uh, make me want to improve <laughs> the world uh, for all of us and make sure that we, that we uh, don't lose sight of what's most important, but I'll, I'll let this person explain. <clears throat> Hi guys. Um, first of all, my name is Bella and I am just like so excited to be here right now. Um, I just wanted to quickly take like a selfie for my Instagram and my Twitter. You guys should totally tweet me and you should totally tweet Sarah Jones too. Okay, one second. Hi guys, I'm at Davos, like World Economic Forum with all these like awesome people that you can see. They're like oh, amazing. Okay, this is like totally oh, amazing. It's like the time is even different here. Like people are like, I saw you three Davoses ago. It's awesome. Okay, okay. Sorry, I just wanted to like capture the moment and like I feel that like you guys are like so rad because you realize that like there's like a digital world revolution that like happened already. And like, I feel that like, and I'm, I'm really happy to say this, but like, it's so overwhelming how you guys, like most of you were like born before the 90s. And like, you're still like doing it. You're really like committed and I love that. Like even your session with the title of like, I share, therefore I am, I totally get that, yeah. And I just feel that like you're obviously like super smart and like oh, amazing people. Um, but also like, yeah, I don't think that you're older. I mean, you're not that you're old. I just think of you as like chronologically advanced people. <laughs> and like, that's why like I feel if you can like continue what you're doing, like keeping it out there on Twitter, Instagram, if it's uncomfortable, totally ask your kids. They'll totally help you. And like, I'll see you there. And I just feel that this whole thing has opened up my mind because I thought like, you know, like I came here and there's world leaders here. Like I totally met Will I Am. <laughs> yeah. So like, I just think that's so awesome that you brought him. Like you're not this like, gathering that's like restriculous, which is like a word that I made that means like so strict it's ridiculous. You guys are like totally open. So I think that's really rad and oh, amazing. I'm totally gonna go tweet it right now. Bye guys. Okay, so. So uh, I wanna say, um, you know, sometimes um, Sarah Jones will save me for, for you know, towards the end. Uh, I'm the only dude up here that she brought with her. Um, I don't know if that's a statement. My name is Rashid. She got me up here wearing a skirt. I guess that's part of the new gender parody y'all working on or whatever. But, uh, you know, me, myself, I heard the girls just mention Will I Am. You know, I'm a rapper myself. I know I'm not the typical dude you will see here at Davos. You know what I'm saying? Normally, I'm in Brooklyn. It's a little bit different. <laughs> but uh, the traffic is starting to be the same, though. The traffic is starting to be the same. But, um, you know, I just feel like 
First of all, y'all could see that what I do, I'm a rapper, I hold the microphone in the official MC posture. Y'all can see that right there, that's a dead giveaway. Rapper, right there, all right? But you know, for me, actually, I got a lot of passion for all these causes, um, the environment, the sustainability, all that, what y'all talking about. I think that's real important, you know what I'm saying? But also, I'm not gonna lie, this right here, this is an environment I would like to sustain, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for myself. So I'm just very happy to be here for the opportunity. Um, we talk about all the things that's important to people all around the world. So my homeboys, whether they, you know what I'm saying, wherever they might be, in the world, if you say peace, I say peace, y'all, la paix, or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on the languages. That's just, it's in development. I got an app for that. I got an app for that. All right? Y'all enjoy the rest of the meeting. Peace. Yeah. La paix. La paz. All right? And, and, and there is one voice I did not want to miss. I thought the opportunity to be here was too great, and uh, so in my remaining few moments, I want you to meet someone who has changed my life, and I think, I think she's really grateful that you all have changed hers this week. Well, I'm gonna start by saying that I have never seen anything like this in my life. If you had told me a little African-American girl who was not allowed to drink from the water fountain uh, like the other people, the white people, where I came from, that one day I would be here in this crowd of distinguished people. I would never believe you. And um, I, I know we here to talk about comedy and humor. It can, uh, I heard Sarah Jones say, it can cleanse your palate so that you won't be afraid to taste a little bit of what's bitter and difficult. And I've been living on the streets a long time. You know, I don't have teeth like y'all beautiful people anymore. Uh, and I, there's a lot of people like me out there in the world, most people out there in the world, whether it's Rio de Janeiro, or Johannesburg, or Paris, Shanghai. I know this all places y'all seen before in real life. I only seen it in a picture. But I'm going to tell you that to me, that's my global village. It's everybody who have to live like me. And uh, if I could say one thing to you while I'm here, I want you to know uh, whether you call it Paul or homeless, we're human beings. And now I think homeless is the wrong word for it anyway. Because as long as I know I am part of the human family, I am part of the global village. I'm always gonna have me a home inside. I, I don't have no place to go at night, but that just make me houseless. I believe we could change this. Huh? So everybody has access to real opportunity. And I pray um, with all of y'all scientists, whether you pray or not, whether you call it God or science, I hope that something including people like you, will help to change this world so that we all know our true home and that we are our neighbors in this global village, fellow villagers. Some of us didn't get opportunity like others, but we deserve our place in the village as well. Thank y'all for giving me a chance to speak on this stage. I'm honored. Thank y'all. And I echo Miss Lady, I am deeply honored to have been here. Thank you for giving me this time. Thank you so much for this meeting. Thank you. <laughs>